okay. So that's pretty bad then. Too. <laughs> Is it? Yeah. It's bad. Are you excited? Yeah. <laughs> I don't even get pissed off at shit like this anymore. It doesn't even bother me. Like, I'm skinny and I probably can't afford it, but. <laughs> morning everybody this is not a nice video to do i've been putting it off for quite a while actually now we went on true rally a couple months ago and it was on probably about a month ago it was unbelievable this is a bad video because the audi is it is okay we've got a massive problem with the Audi. <laughs> okay, so we came back from True Rally. We have like huge gearbox errors with the car. It's just slipping, throwing gearbox malfunction code. So we need to know what it is. But Carly's gonna help us out. This video is sponsored by Carly Connected Car. Um, she's gonna help us out and she's just gonna tell us what's bloody wrong with it because right now I'm not looking forward to this. So with Carly, she can do a full scan of everything in the car, tell you what's wrong. You can wipe codes and you can actually use their smart mechanic and it tells you um, what their diagnosis is of that particular code and you can also do some customization stuff so right now let's use it because I want to find out what's wrong with this car we're going to plug her in we're going to load up Carly up this is a home screen cool home screen we've got a nice little Audi A7 there that's the last time I connected so let's just press connect you can do you can check the health which is read codes use car check that tells you with like mileage discrepancies anything like that how the car's been driven and you can do customization of the car unlocking and features but for now we're going to go into health so we're just doing a scan of the whole car now car is being checked so here are the issues if you say we've got three bad issues with the transmission oh no we have three codes torque limitation due to clutch temperature and clutch one slip too great so i'm guessing they're all tied together the reason that the uh, the clutch temperature is getting so hot is because it's slipping so we have something bad with the gearbox and the clutches it looks like so right now the car is saying it is bad eight issues found so we need to look into these uh, these are not serious so, so it could just be something little um but it knows what's bad and these are the transmission ones so thank you Carly for telling me that we need to get this fixed so with Carly you can actually go through live data as well so we can have a look at every single parameter of live data we don't need to do that now but let's go into customization and let's see what we can do to this car so this is everything we can code in the car so we've got ZE topics for central launch coming home cornering lights daytime running lights drive down out headlights locking MMI interface car menu uh, we've got one here we do speedometer warnings oh my god look how much stuff there is wow so you actually have ones here that you can turn on a lap timer on the onboard computer for the time being my phone is going to die so huge thank you for Carly sponsoring this video it's bad news, but at least I know what the news is. The clutch is slipping. I need to get it fixed. There will be a link in the description where you can get a discount code for Carly. But huge thank you, Carly, for sponsoring this video. We need to get this thing fixed now. Basically, we've had the car mapped. We took it up about 2,000 miles along one of the best roads in the world. We had five man deep in the car. And I had everyone's luggage. Basically, this thing was towing a caravan with a map around the NC500 trying to keep up with cars that she should not keep up with. It did keep up with, but it came with a price. The price is that it is knocking its tits off, which isn't a bad thing, but the gearbox is fucked. Like, I, genuinely, the clutches are slipping their tits off, and if I'm in seventh gear in the motorway, and I put my foot down, it just goes, gearbox malfunction, gearbox malfunction. And it's like, I have to drive it, like, really carefully. So if I'm coming off a junction, I've got to go down in sport. And if I want to overtake someone, I've got to go into manual. Otherwise, if I put a foot down, the, cl the clutches just literally just slip the tits off. I'll show you now. Right, so we're in drive. Let's just put our foot down. Woo! Oh, there goes the clutch. Absolutely, there goes the clutch. And we're not getting any gearbox malfunction codes. Um, it's usually only in seventh gear does the gearbox malfunction. But if we, same again. Oh that, oh, that time it pulled. Oh. Maybe we can fix it then. So basically, we're going down to a very good friend of mine, Kieran, who owns KWJ Performance. The OGs will remember Kieran. Kieran's business has gone crazy since I've moved down south. I'm so proud of him. Uh, he is like one of the main guys now in terms of like S3s, Golf Rs, uh, those sort of German whips. Um, so we're taking A7 down to him. 
and he's gonna work some magic on his, on his computer in a hope to fix it. So just for a reference, I actually took this car, just like a baseline, to a uh, gearbox specialist, an Audi, like a DSG specialist. Uh, that video, full video, is on Patreon, so be a patron. Um, they quoted me two and a half grand to fix it. So Kieran used to start off doing, do you still do the carbon fiber bits? No, not really, they're just old ones that we, yeah. we've just had for ages, they're all slightly damaged and stuff. But that's what you started off doing? Is, is that it? is, yeah, that's where it all began, yeah. Yeah, I've not mentioned what we're going to do, Kieran. So, oh, right, okay. <laughs> yeah, so you, t you t tell me and tell the camera. Um, so we're trying to fix the clutch slip, Yeah. basically. Um, we're going to do the adaptations on the gearbox, reset all them. Yeah. Maybe do a gearbox software update, if there's one available. Um, and if that doesn't fix it, we're going to try mapping the box. Right. And if that doesn't fix it, you're going to need new clutches. Right. So <laughs> the mapping the box, is that just going to increase the clamping loads? Pretty much, yeah. 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 Um, now, it depends. Obviously, yours is slipping quite bad, I think, isn't it? Every time it's seven, I get a gearbox malfunction code when it does it. All oh, right. Okay. So that's pretty bad then. Is it? Yeah. Um, <laughs> we'll see. We'll see how we'll it goes. We'll see. I mean, you were saying that there's no harm in doing this anyway. And yeah, yeah. for I mean, future proof, it would be better to have a map on it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I would recommend having a map on the gearbox because you, you, well, it increases the clamping pressures of the clutches, so that's going to effectively make the clutch. It's basically like having an upgraded clutch, yeah. but in a in, a, in an automatic. Um, I mean, you can get upgraded clutches, but this is kind of like an in-between, so yeah. it will, it'll make it drive better and everything like that. So right. it, yeah. It's just, either way, I might even I yeah. might need to buy these clutch packs. Yeah. Which are not fucking cheap. <laughs> And they're not fun to do either. To no. I'm going to take on a quick test drive just so I can see how it is now. Yeah. Um, now I'll come back, I'll do the adaptation reset. Yeah. Check if there's a gearbox software update. If there is, I'll update it. Yeah. Um, then I'll take on a test drive, see if that's made any difference. Mm -hmm. If it's not, um, then we'll we'll do the map on it. Right. And then we'll just go from there and see, see what's what essentially. Hi. Uh oh, here it is. When she see how bad it is, how bad he thinks it is. How bad is it out of 10? Is it? Yeah, yeah, I got it to do it straight away. You, Sorry, yeah, yeah, it's pretty, yeah. yeah so I'll try the adaptations and software update now and then we'll... Are you, are you, are you, do you think it's going to need the clutch packs? Yeah. <laughs> it'll be ready, fully, if we do the clutch packs, it'll be fully ready to go after that then. So what's going on here, Kieran? So I'm just checking the software versions. Yeah. Um, there is an update available, so I'm there is. doing an update now, yeah. So when you update a game, what, what, what sort of... What sort of things is it updating? Like Just how's the it software work? of the gearbox. Right. So if, since this car has been released, Audi will have released updates right. to the gearbox to fix random issues and little bugs here and there oh, okay. and whatnot, make improvements through the adaptations, um, and then just see if that's that's helpful. So with an with an adaptation, how how does that work and what does it do basically? So basically, from you, um, the car starts learning how you drive, right. um, and the the gearbox ECU will kind of like adapt to your driving style essentially. Yeah. And over time, as you get new owners, as the box gets serviced and, and whatnot, um, the way you drive obviously isn't gonna be the same as everyone else has been driving previously. So basically just wipe everything on the gearbox um, and then it's gonna be starting from fresh. And it will change, it will basically synchronize where the clutches are engaging. Um, so hopefully it will, well, we'll, we'll Make see. it a little bit better. Yeah, we'll, we'll have to see those. It's a bit more complicated than that, but that, that's kind of like the, yeah. the basics of it. Were you excited to do the clutches on this? Yeah. <laughs> I mean, you've done a lot of clutch backs, just never on this one. Yeah, I mean, we usually do them on Golf R's and S3's. Yeah. Um, but obviously, the gearboxes on these are massive. Massive. Like, yeah. Probably as long as me, like. Yeah, they, I think they come from like down here, don't they? Probably way more than me as well. <laughs> They're still doing it. Still doing it. The exact same. The exact same. Well, I need to do the map yet. Oh, we're doing the map. Okay. Yeah, we've only yeah. done the adaptations. So okay. Still a chance, but it's. Uh, it's bad. Yeah. So I think it's going to need clutch packs, but yeah. we're going to do the map anyway, maybe as I've tried before. So yeah. Okay, yeah. at least it gives it a little bit more longevity if we're not doing the clutch packs today. So yeah. at least we can drive for a little bit longer. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> well, yeah. Yeah, well, it's still drivable. So yeah. yeah. I mean, it doesn't slip if I just drive yeah, normally. It's just when you put your foot in it. So. Yeah. 
Yeah. But you looked at how long the job was going to be to do that clutch to the clutch parts, wasn't it? Yeah. <laughs> was it? On all the day, I think the time was like nine, like one hours. That's not too bad. It's not too bad. I don't think it'll take that long. Though, to be Is honest. that? I reckon we we could probably do it in like three quarters of a day. I reckon. Oh, so in less than a day? Yeah, I reckon so. Oh, yeah. fucking yeah. hell! The box doesn't look that hard to take out, to be honest. So what we're doing now is you're taking the mat off the gearbox. Yeah, so I'm reading what's on the ECU. Yeah. Um, and then we're going to send it off. Yeah. And then we'll get the modified file back. Yeah. Put it on and do some tests. So, okay, we've got the file back. We have. We've got the file back. So, you rang them. Oh, is this Voodoo, is it? Yeah, yeah Voodoo, yeah, it's yeah, Voodoo. Yeah. yeah. So, you rang them and, so that's a custom, it's custom for moi. It's fully, it's a fresh file built for your car. Built, my car. And you've asked them to put high comping pressure on. Yeah, explain the situation. Yeah. Um, so, you, we, we, you spoke to them and you think as well, it's a 50-50. Yeah. It might do it, it might not. Okay, the gearbox map is on. He's going for a test drive. Positive thinking, everyone, positive thinking. Come on, come on. Good lighting, though. Good luck. Salam, go back. Is it a no? Is it still slipping? Is it? It is better, though. Is it? It's, um, it's still slipping, yeah. Yeah. Great. <laughs> it's better, yeah? It is a bit better, yeah. Yeah. Um, still slipping. It is what it is. We kind of expecting that, right? I was expecting that. Yeah. It was way too bad for it to be fixed by a yeah. fucking computer. Yeah, I think if it was done as soon as it started slipping, we would have yeah. got away with it, but obviously it's Yeah, it happened mid-rally and you had to do about a thousand miles to get home. Yeah. We're doing a clutch adaptation, mate. I mean, wait, we're changing the clutch back. Are you excited? Yeah. yeah. <laughs> uh, I think he was more pissed off than I am. <laughs> you really wanted that to work. I did. I don't even get I don't even get pissed off at shit like this anymore. It doesn't even bother me. Like I'm skinny and I probably can't afford it, but <laughs> I've lived with the S13 for too long now that I'm just used to shit going wrong, you know. It's fine. It's like I went in the pub earlier and my card won't work and I was like, well, it's just it's just me, isn't it, you know? It is. It is what it is. So we're gonna be doing a uh You still wanna do it, right? You still yeah, yeah. yeah you still do it. We uh we're gonna do we're gonna change the clutch back ourselves. There'll be some good videos, mate. That's the, that's the positive. We get to learn something new, we get to spend great, to have, to have some fun, we get to we get to do it ourselves, make some cool contents, and we're gonna do it in half a day, it'll be easy. <laughs> you said three quarters of a day. I did say You did say. If, if nothing goes wrong. If nothing goes wrong. If everything goes wrong. It's Audi, mate, what's gonna go wrong? Thank you, guys. I know you Take didn't care, do much, but. <laughs> I'm joking. You're the man. We'll see you soon. Yeah, we will. When we're getting... Yeah, let's yeah. not talk about it. <laughs>